Hello friends, how are you guys? I am going to start off today with coffee that I have been loving. I learned how to make this coffee on TikTok. I will link the creator down below for you guys. Make sure you guys check her out. This is new to me, but it might not be new to you guys. So don't make fun of me. I just didn't know that you could do it this way. And I've been really liking it. I've been giving my Nespresso machine a little break and I've been loving it. So this is Nescafe, Nescafe Classical Dark dark roast coffee. This is what it looks like here. I bought this at like my local grocery my local grocery store. So what I do is I take 1 tablespoon of this. Let me get my measuring tablespoon. So we're going to do 1 tablespoon in here, maybe a little bit more. Ooh, just a little bit more, not too much. And then you want to do 1 cup of water. I'm going to pour it over the sink. And then if your container has a lid, you can put the lid on and shake it. But I have this little mixer thingy. You basically want to mix this all up until all of the coffee particles are completely dissolved in the water. And I just use like cold or room temperature water. And the girl said that the reason she does this is because she doesn't like the foam in her coffee. So by doing this, you can just pour the coffee in your container and just eliminate all the foam, which is a personal preference for me as well. I can't remember if in the video she got dark roast or something else. I just ended up grabbing dark roast, which I've been enjoying. I guess I'll keep it. I'll have to double check the video that I saw on TikTok to see what she got. But as you guys can see, the foam is starting to form. After learning how to make this, I've been like obsessed with it because it's just so easy and it tastes so good. Like if you're someone who just loves that classic ice cold coffee, this is so easy and so quick. I love TikTok. You can just learn so many things on there. Is it dissolved? Yep. Okay, we're good. I'm going to go put ice in my container that I'm going to drink coffee out of. Alrighty, we have the ice going and now you're going to pour your coffee inside. You see how all the foam is staying and you're only getting the coffee. So there's your coffee. We'll put that aside. Oh, I totally forgot. You want to line your cup first with caramel. So let me do that now, actually. And then for me, I like to add just a tiny bit of this Tirani vanilla syrup sweetener, like just a hint. Right there, my caramel leaked. And then I'm gonna go in with my favorite milk. This is reduced fat milk. You can use any milk that you want, but this is just the one that I prefer. I'm gonna do it that much. And then last but not least, she went in with this Caramel Macchiato International Delight. This one. We'll try that for now. The coffee looks so good. Look at this color. And let's try it before we add anything else to the coffee. You can also add whipped cream on top. So good. Wow. I hope you guys try this at home and fairly affordable too. If you don't want to buy that Nespresso machine. I do feel like, what is my dog doing? I do feel like if you want something stronger than Nespresso is like obviously great to have. I love how my mom never answers. She's watching TV. I have to like resort to talking to her over the ring camera. Oh, she's singing karaoke. Yeah. How funny. My mom's singing karaoke right now in her house. You want to eat some udon noodles at mom's? At mom's? Yeah, you know how she makes that soup you like? Yes. With the little noodles. Can I eat it? Yeah, I think you should be fine. Hi, mom. Thứ tối thứ năm con đến nhà mẹ con ngủ qua nha. Tại vì thứ sáu là máy giặt với máy sấy đến á. Khoai tối thứ bảy con về. Ok. Ok, vậy thôi. Tối thứ bảy về hả? Ờ, sao vậy? Ờ, ừ, sao vậy? Thứ bảy thì à, tụ nó ăn chị, chị Dung gửi tụ mấy đứa qua Không có sao Mấy giờ? 9, 10 giờ Mấy giờ chị Dung mấy rước mấy đứa? 11 giờ khi 12 giờ khi 1 giờ 2 giờ tị Ờ, không Rảnh sao đâu nào rước kìa đó Thứ bảy con phải đi tiệc nhưng mà một nhưng mà 1 giờ rưỡi con mới đi Nên sáng con ở nhà với mấy con chó mà Có gì đem tụ lên lầu không sao Ok, okay. 
Ok vậy thôi yeah. tối thứ tối thứ năm con đến nha Tính hỏi mẹ gì quên này Tối thứ sáu mẹ muốn uh, mẹ muốn uh, ăn gỏi cuốn không? Không, à, có mẹ ăn gỏi cuốn gì Thì lúc mà thì mình làm á với cái lò đó Mình bỏ cái lò ở trên giữa đó Nướng thịt đồ đó Ờ à, thì con muốn ăn là làm ăn thôi thì mẹ với mấy đứa ăn đặng con mua đồ tối thứ sáu bánh canh có khó làm có khó không bánh canh hả ừ bánh canh bánh canh uh, nấu với uh, cái gì nấu giò heo hay nấu sườn ừ uhm, giò heo sườn gì cũng được nhưng mà có khó không 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 khó đâu con muốn uh, sáng sáng thứ sáu làm bánh canh con muốn quay ừ uhm. vậy mẹ cẳng gì con đi chợ cho ha mẹ đi chợ để mẹ đi chợ mẹ đừng có đi bộ nha mẹ kêu tâm đi chợ mẹ con có muốn mẹ đi bộ nha Ừ, có đi bộ đâu. Ok. Ok, bye mẹ. Bye. Alo. Hi mom. À, mẹ mua, mẹ đi chợ, mẹ mua đồ bánh canh, mẹ giữ cái receipt con trả mẹ lại nha. Không có chi đâu, trả gì. No, tại vì con quay phim á nên con um, con giữ cái receipt rằng con trừ ra tiền uh, tiền tiền tax. Ok con. Nên mẹ mua okay, gì okay. mà mẹ mua gì mà mua cho bánh canh á thì con trả mẹ lại. Ok, ok con. Ok, bye mẹ. Okay. Bye. I split the chicken up into two bowls. This one is going to be for the fried rice and this one is going to be for the salad. So I'm going to do a little bit of garlic powder, maybe a teaspoon or so, not that much. We're going to go in with a little bit of pepper. Slap your mama. It's my favorite. If you guys haven't tried this, the seasoning is so good for everything pasta seafood steak chicken everything you guys it's like a mixture of kind of like old bay but it's like a spicy old bay it's so good and then i'm gonna go in with a little bit of paprika just a little bit and then salad supreme if you guys have never tried this salad supreme so good on top of salads and pasta salads delicious okay and then we want to give this a little toss we're gonna go in with extra virgin olive oil extra virgin olive oil good for the body and then we're gonna pop this in the air fryer and then like i said this chicken is for our fried rice i think i'm gonna make shrimp fried rice and chicken fried rice and then we have the pasta later too which i'm really excited about because i just got this from amazon i've never tried these before it's this pasta but look at the shape of it friends it's so cool i'm very excited for the pasta all right let me pop this in the air fryer I honestly need to get some air fryer lining paper because I'm so tired of washing my air fryer because I use it all the time. But I'm so scared that they're gonna like catch on fire or something. Okay, you wanna spread the chicken out. Make sure everyone has room to lay down. And then let's pop this in the air fryer. I have shrimp, shrimped. Great. <laughs> I have shrimp on the side here. This is for my pasta, so I'm gonna put this aside. This shrimp, I have whole pieces of shrimp here that I am now going to cut into small pieces. So you have a piece of shrimp with every bite for the fried rice. I just cleaned this with soap and water. So I'm gonna cut the shrimp right now into small pieces. So they should look a little something like this. Very small, easy to bite with every piece of fried rice that you have. And it doesn't have to be perfect go in and cut them into small pieces. We're doing a very easy recipe. To be honest with you guys, I am trying to finish out my fridge because we're gonna be at my mom's for a few days, so I don't want anything to just sit in the fridge, you know? I pop the chicken in the air fryer for 15 minutes at 400 degrees and they came out perfect. This is how I love my chicken. Nice and crispy, nice bronzy color over and it tastes so good. Like bomb, delicious. Highly recommend those seasonings together. It would go well with anything. Today I'm gonna do a salad. For the salad, I love romaine hearts. These are so good because they have a really nice crunch. So I'll take one and I'll chop it up. And then I love blending it with spring mix. Spring mix is my favorite. I can get a whole container of this and probably finish it within a few days. And then we also love spinach in this house. That is my favorite. I also love these wonton like stick chips things. I'll show you guys. They 
They're my favorite. I get this at Target and they're these, why did they say wonton? They're chow mein noodles. So I get this whole bag at Target here and these just add a really nice crunch instead of croutons. I don't love croutons too much, I know. I know a lot of you are gonna come for me. There's these little chow mein noodles. They taste so good. They add a nice crunch. And then for my salad dressing, I love this one from Health Nut. I buy it on their website. I'll link this down below for you guys. But this is the Health Nut sesame dressing. It's so good. I don't love too much dressing over my salad. So I'll just drizzle a little bit of this and then put the chicken on top. And it is the best salad ever. I have the romaine chopped up here. Spring mix. And spinach. like literally the best salad ever. Chow mein noodles, a little bit of sauce, and the chicken is seasoned so well, it balances it out with the noodles nicely. Mm-hmm, cucumbers. I have six eggs here. I know this is a lot of eggs, but we're doing a big batch of fried rice. So what I like to do is in an empty container, just go ahead and crack all of your eggs in and then we're gonna go ahead and mix this up. Don't worry, I'm just gonna throw it in the sink. I'll clean it up later. Because we are on a little bit of a time crunch here, I'm gonna show you how easy this is. By the way, when you're making fried rice, you wanna use plain jasmine rice, and it's better if the jasmine rice is room temperature or you made it previously the day before. You don't want warm or hot rice when you're making fried rice because then your fried rice will be soggy and we don't want that. We're gonna crack all of our eggs in, and then we're gonna go ahead and mix it all up. I am Asian, obviously, so I mix all of my things up with chopsticks, but you can easily use a whisk. And then I do like to season my rice a little bit. I am going to go in with, you know what, just a little bit of chicken bouillon. Sorry, season my, my eggs a little bit. A little bit of chicken bouillon. You want to season in layers as you go so every bite is beautiful. Beautiful. All right, we have our big pan going. Turn on the heat. Let that heat up a little bit. Extra virgin olive oil. Do you guys like the light on or off? Ooh, that's sexy. I like that. I'm making fried rice, so. And I love extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna go in with my shrimp. bit of Kerrygold butter. Garlic powder. Slap your mama. A little bit of chicken bouillon. Fresh red pepper. Gonna go in with my eggs. or so cooked, I will add my rice in. Also, you can add green onions in for some color. You can do carrots and peas, but remember, this is a simple shrimp fried rice. We're keeping it simple and quick. And this is perfect if you have just shrimp and eggs ready. Okay, I'm gonna add my rice. Rice going in. Now we can just lower our heat to low. This is also fun to meal prep for the week. I'm gonna go in now with soy sauce. I love the less sodium soy sauce here. And we're gonna do three circles for now. A little drizzle sriracha, the real one. Mix that up. Chicken bouillon. Black pepper, a little bit of bread. A pinch of sugar just to balance everything out. Taste test real quick here. 
Yep, it's perfect. And if you guys choose to do chicken, same concept, but instead we're gonna start with the chicken and you wanna cook that a little bit longer until it's obviously cooked inside. And we have shrimp fried rice. I love that I chopped up my shrimp in small pieces because every bite that your guests will take or you, you will have the eggs, the shrimp, the rice. This is so hot. Mmm. Nicely seasoned. Nothing is too overpowering. Nice amount of kick. Every bite is seasoned because we season the egg separately, the shrimp separately, and then at the end with the rice. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. That is bomb. So good. I'm gonna go ahead. I just realized I have two go containers out in the garage. I'll be right back. Shrimp fried rice. So right now, our neighbor Janika, she's learning how to make bread at home. So we get to like switch foods and I'm like, always critique my food. Let me know if it's bad because I wanna know if it tastes bad. So I can see where I like have to improve, you know? As you guys can tell, this is a lot. Then I'm going to prep my own containers here. While we cook the chicken. Mm. The reason I'm making the chicken right now is because I'm gonna put it on top. I could have done all of this in one pot. Just, you know, totally forgot. It's so good. Looks so good, friends. We have chicken and shrimp for this one, and then we have chicken and shrimp for this one, and then those two are shrimp fried rice. And oh my God, they smell amazing.
Mm-hmm.